Let's talk about plastic surgery. No, we're not talking about celebs who have had plastic surgery. Let's talk about how plastic surgery could work in para lives. Happy Wednesday! I hope you're feeling great and staying hydrated. Today, we're going to look over the dev chat from December the 10th, 2021. Like always, it's good to remember that Paralives is in the pre-alpha stage of development. That means things can change, be improved, or be removed altogether. Now, let's get to the good stuff. We're going to begin with gameplay focused questions, answers, and ideas. Pronouns. They haven't been included in the game yet, but you'll be able to select them in PAM. Then you'll see them be used throughout live mode. What about pronouns for babies who are born in game? We'll be able to select pronouns for babies who are born in game, but not just yet. Considering, well, you know. Considering that the babies can't be born in game yet. Fun fact. Did you know that currently, Paris can't do anything but idle? The more you know. It was a shock to my system when I booted up The Sims 2 after so many years of playing only Sims 4. One of the things that stuck out to me would be how they organize the social interaction menus. In Sims 4, they have friendly, romantic, mean, and mischievous interactions sorted into those categories. Meanwhile, in Sims 2, they've got sorted into interaction types. For example, all of the kissing would be under kiss and all of the various ways you could irritate someone would be under irritate. I like this better to be honest. I'm not a fan of the game sorting social interactions into romantic, nice, and mean categories. It doesn't feel organic and honestly makes me feel worse about having meaner sims. Like I don't want to have to click mean to be mean. I just want them to do the action, you know? I don't need the game to label those interactions. And honestly, I don't need that shaming that comes along with it when I have mean sims. Just don't shame me and my sim, okay? Not only that, but I find that it takes a while to find social interactions. Especially when I'm seeking out a particular one. Like there should be like some sort of sub menu or something like that. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? This is why I'm very interested in learning more about how social menus will be organized in Paralives. So long story short, we don't know yet, but I'm curious to find out more. In Canada, seasonal chores happen, unfortunately. We gotta get the garden ready for winter, then shovel snow for walkways and ensure there's no snow on our windshields. In the springtime, it's all about getting the garden ready for the growing season, fixing up the yard. Then in the summertime, it's all about maintaining that garden. With that said, I would like to see seasonal chores in game, but I could understand if it wasn't as intense as it can be in real life. Maybe leaves gather in piles instead of everywhere, or they're kind of like a 2D paint on the floor, sort of like what they do in The Sims 4. Maybe they don't need to do anything to their garden before the snow starts. I'd be fine with that. Those are compromises I could get behind. This is an idea I adore. It's important to reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink. As someone who tries my best to be environmentally friendly, I adore the idea of, of reusing items such as homework or newspaper as wrapping paper. Not only is it a great way to reuse something, but it can be a cute aesthetic. You might have noticed, or maybe you didn't. Either way, Sebastian is not completely flat down there. Does that mean we'll be able to equip features like that? It depends on what you're talking about, I guess. Breasts and Adam apples are both connected to sliders. Other things are equipable. The nostrils have cavities. You've heard me. The nostrils, they have cavities. They're just not that deep as you can see in this picture right here. This is because they want to keep the mesh simple. There are no piercings right now, but there will probably be piercings aside from earrings. As someone with a belly button piercing and two nose piercings, this makes me very happy indeed. Plastic surgery. Will there be plastic surgery in para lives? And I'm not just talking about cheating to be able to redo your para. I'm talking about your para going to a plastic surgeon for something that won't mess with their genetics. I like the idea of plastic surgery in para lives. I think it's a nice way to be able to edit your para folk without it affecting their genetics and how their future potential babies will look like. Nevertheless, some surgeries wouldn't really make sense realistically. So we're going to have to see if this actually becomes a thing. Would you like to have plastic surgeries in para lives? 
Lastly, we're going to check out the questions and answers about game development as a whole. Why did the team focus on the visuals of the game before the AI and function of the Paris and world? That's because having the visuals helped the team be able to grow. Without the help of those visuals, they probably wouldn't have gotten many supporters. I guess nobody is really interested in backing a game when all they know about it is how pathfinding will work. It's not planned, as of right now, but I would quite enjoy it if they did release the Paramaker as a demo or something. When Sims 4 was launched, I actually tried out a create a sim demo and that's what made me buy the game. My fingers are crossed for a Paramaker demo. Unfortunately, there probably won't be clothing with sequin texture. There might be a way to create a compromise using smoothness, metallic, and normal textures though. One thing's for sure, paras will cast shadows into their environment. Other than that, there hasn't been a ton of work done with the dynamic lighting, or lighting in general, so far. Here's a look at a bug the devs encountered recently. Those are some spiky cheeks, Sebastian. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in joining in on these dev chats, check out Paralives' Patreon. I've left the link for that in the description, alongside their social media accounts and website. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. All of that truly helps me grow my YouTube channel. Thanks again. Until next time. Bye!